My name is Peter Dager, and I am the founder of NADCL. Most of you know me as PPD, the professional Dota 2 player, which which I still am. But I decided to start something else. And that was the semi-professional league for North American Dota players. Current state of the NA scene, the biggest problem is that there's no avenue for competition for teams that aren't at the highest level. And that's what I'm hoping to fix with NADCL, is to provide a platform for these teams that are trying to progress from an amateur level to professional level where they can live out their dreams of being a professional dota player but in order to get there there needs to be a path towards success and that is what nadcl is aspiring to be it's aspiring to be a league that provides exposure for these players and these teams so that other people you know big top teams can come and scout them people want to come watch the games they want to see the upcoming na dota players hopefully we can provide a prize pool for the league so that way teams have a sustainable life and they can commit a majority of their time to actually becoming a dota professional which is necessary in my opinion to find any success inside this game so nadcl is essentially just a startup right it's something that i've created that i think that has the potential to be something great, but it's not there yet. I think one of the most important things for our success is to cultivate an audience, let people know that this is actually happening, that this is important. We need fans, we need teams, we need organizations to get behind us, to believe that what we're doing is the right thing to be doing. And I think that when people start to realize that, I think we'll start to gain an audience and gain viewership. And with viewership will come more lucrative sponsor deals that will enable us to do bigger and better things for not only the league, but also its players and teams. But we're not there yet. One way that we can bridge that gap is through contributions from our fans and our viewers, people that are most likely, you know, some of the most hardcore North American Dota fans out there that tune in for NADCL week in and week out. If, you know, if they can c contribute, you know, a little bit, hopefully that we can provide continued entertainment for years to come. Any contributions made towards the NADCL for this first season, 50% of them are going to go towards this season one current season prize pool. We're going to up those numbers. We're going to boost it up from that 12K number to whatever we might get to. The other 50% is going to go towards season two's prize pool. The more people donate earlier, the more kind of excitement and hype it builds for the league. And that is not only for like viewers and spectators, but also for players and teams themselves, because they are going to see this prize pool going up and up and up, and they're gonna to start to believe in the success of the NADCL at the league that they're competing in, and they'll commit more of their resources towards it. Maybe they'll start practicing more. Maybe they'll you know, just push themselves harder to be the best that they can be. And that's essentially what we're trying to do. I think the cool idea about NADCL is that it really does um, kind of involve everyone. We're creating competition, we're creating growth, we're creating stability in the North American scene. And this is a plus for everybody involved. You know, this is going to be a league where you could watch the next Sumail rise to the top of the rank. Teams aren't always looking for new players, but after the international, when you know roster mania kicks in, some people are always looking for the next big star, and hopefully they can find him pretty easily through the NADCL.